Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering. Today we are doing a rework of a deck we've already played on the, my channel, but I think the rework might be quite interesting. So here we have the Azorius Defenders 2.0. As the last Azorius Defenders deck, it is based on the High Alert card. Each creature you control gains combat damage equal to its toughness rather than power. Creatures you control can attack as though they didn't have Defender. Plus, it's it can up, untap target creature, which is it's it's okay. So the high alert is basically the key card here. We only have Defenders and high health creatures. Uh, and basically, the point is we get this out. Our Septa goes fucking insane and just kills everyone in one turn. That's the goal. Now. With this, we've done some reworking. We have set one Settled Wreckage and one Cleansing Nova. I added the Cleansing Nova because it is really good if we're fighting a, an Artifact or Enchantment deck. It is very good. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. We should also add land, actually. I realized that we have, uh, we have two of these guys. Boom, boom. So might as well do that. Uh, because it's good to have dual lands that are basically free anyway to play. Um, save and exit. Hell yeah. And uh, that is basically the deck. And we are going to play it. We are hopefully going to wreck. Wreck some people. But if you like the content that I kind of make, remember to uh, subscribe, like, and also comment what you think of my decks. Because I really want your thoughts on them. I kind of want to know what you think I could improve, what could uh, go into a deck to make it more interesting, or some ideas on decks that you have. Just tell me in the comments down below. Now, let's get to it. Daedalus. Deda... Daedalus? Daedalus? Question mark? Ooh, starting with the high alert. This is actually a sick draw. We just need one more mana to get the high alert out. And we can also convoke this guy. That's why I added this guy, because I can convoke him. And I have I have a very long history of having mana problems. So, convoking. Always good. We also have con the Conclave Tribunal. I really don't like that guy. Uh, let's play a Wall of Mist. The Pelt Collector. Ugh. Ugh. That is actually a real disgusting card. The Pelt Connector, Collector, I know, is a sick card in basically any any elf deck. It's also good, I'm, I'm assuming, in like any aggro deck as well, it seems. So, um, the question is, do we Conclave Tribunal first? I don't think so. We do High Alert. Boom. Instantly, uh, we let the Wall of Mist chill, I think. We could have attacked, and we would have gone like, basically even, damage-wise. Um, oh. I don't think he realized what my high alert does. Which is kind of interesting, I guess. I think we want to Conclave Tribunal this turn. We definitely want to do that. Get the Pelt Collector out of here as fast as possible. Boom. Get out of here. Then we attack with our 5-5. Five five. <laughs> Wall of Mist. <laughs> Boom. I just love playing this deck. This is so hilarious. Like, I don't even... I don't think he even realized, like, what happened to his 3-3 three three to begin with. Oh, did he? No, he, he rioted it. Okay. Uh, I think we actually do another Wall of Mist. Just do another Wall of Mist here. And we also opt. I feel like opting is a good idea. Mm. Do we want to take another opt? I feel like that is kind of... Kind of defeats the point of the opt to begin with. Let's move it. Another high alert. It's good to have an extra, I guess. Yeah, I think we attack with this. Boom. Trying to get some damage in. Gotta get the free damage, and then we have a wall of mist to block with. Oh, rubble sling. This is an instant. Do you think 
he is stupid enough to allow me to get through with one of them. Is it at this point he actually realized what High Alert does? Okay. Well, <laughs> sure. That was surprisingly smooth. He could have killed one of my wall of mists, but I guess, like, if he didn't block both, I would have won anyway. But mm, still, strange choice. Just accepting death. But I really like this deck. I think it's way better than my first one as well. It's more balanced, it has more card draw. It is basically just better at controlling, but still kind of an aggressive deck. I don't think we want to keep this. This seems dangerous, we don't have a lot of creatures. We have one wall of mist that could easily be removed. We don't have any card draw. I don't feel this hand. <sighs> no white mana. But we have a wall of lost thought. And we have settled the wreckage, but we have no white mana. Shit, I really don't like mulliganing down. I guess we're keeping it. I should have stayed with my first hand. I should have just been, uh, been happy with that. Just been satisfied. At least we have the Muse Drake. If we pull one more land, we ha at least have one card draw. Oh, that's good. Well, I lost that. Now we have some sort of defense to begin with. Okay, so he is basically a vampire deck. The good old uh, net deck, the vampire deck. Hmm. High alert. Let's go. Boom. Yeah, I think we attack with this. Getting some damage in with the wall lost thought. Okay. Let's see. I'm assuming he is going to attack me. I think we play this, right? Or well, the wall wall of mist is a good play, but I think I want the card draw from the new strike more. No attackers, we want to be able to defend this time. Because he has lifelink. Oh that's a pain. We can still kill the vampire. Um let's actually kill there and kill there. Boom, boom. There we go. I think it's fine. Uh, losing that. Let's actually do that. Boom. Remove this boy. And then play a wall of mist. There we go. I think that was a good play. Murder? Rude. So I think we got this, because I don't think he has a lot of card draw, and my creatures are quite strong. He'll run out of steam, uh, and I think I have some more card draw compared to with him. Let's pull the opt, I guess. I don't think we need that. Yeah, that's way better. Cancel that. Maybe not. Do we wanna... Hmm. We could convoke this guy. I think that's actually a good idea. There we go. Boom. Let's attack with uh, the Guardian. 
This is actually a very similar to deck, deck to the one that I that I made beforehand with uh, Epicure Blood being the victor condition. He might actually win on the Epicure Blood. That is a very possible thing that might happen. Uh, it costs four to untap. Can attack with. Uh, I think he has one attack with the Drake. Boom. Use this to untap it. I'm going to take three damage from this, but he is wasting a lot of his resources. Plus, we're getting more and more stuff. Oof, okay. Can actually attack with all three and then use the high alert to untap one of the guardians. Boom. There we go. Untapped. He is like going really ham and trying to like get me down with the uh, Epicure blood. I don't think it will be enough though. That is a lot of damage coming your way, sir. It is true though that his basically his only chance of winning is keeping the Epicure blood up. So hmm. I mean, he is basically dead now. There we go. Surprisingly smooth. Um, this deck is uh, proving to be quite useful. Like, sure, I'm not facing any of the real meta decks, I don't feel like, but I feel like it's doing work. It's really working out surprisingly well. The thing that I kind of miss in this deck, I know there is a creature, a blue-white creature, that does exactly the same thing as High Alert, but I am not sure if it's worth having him in the deck. Well, it's it would probably be worth it, I mean, he is literally made for that, but I feel like removing creatures compared to enchantments is way easier, because you usually have more hard removal for creatures, obviously. I think this is an okay hand to keep. We can opt as well early. Try to get that. We kind of need that extra land, so we'll go with the planes. I mean, we pull a card anyway, so it's still worth it. Mm. I just love that in this deck, the Aegis of the Heavens is basically a... <laughs> <laughs> it is basically a plus seven plus seven buff for two mana. It is hilarious. We are pulling way too much land, but we have some creatures to weigh it up, so I think it's okay so far. The Muse Drake is actually a really good addition to this because it is kind of good card draw, plus it is... Uh, it is a 3-3 three, three ba three, three player, basically. 4-4 four, four mana. It's really worth it. Wow, this is actually incredible. Let's actually just cast this and uh, exile that. Bye! Oops. Dude, I, it wouldn't surprise me if he has another Charging Monster Sar. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, he is a Gruul deck. Need a Tooth Raptor. Hmm. We do really extremely need the uh, High Alert at this point. 
<laughs> That's hexproof as well. Oh no, oh, yeah, it's hexproof. Ugh. I really dislike that. I might be screwed. I'm actually probably screwed. It's trampled as well, yeah. You know it. Ooh. No attacks. I'm I'm wondering if he actually sees kinda of what I'm doing just from the creatures that I'm playing because I'm only playing high health creatures. So three damage to the face, I think that's worth it. surprised. The problem is that this guy is hexproof. We could have otherwise conclave tribunaled him, but uh, sadly that won't help at this point. I just blocked this guy with both of these. He can't kill both of them and hopefully I draw a high alert quite soon. I really need the high alert. Like, I extremely much need the high alert. Well, at least I can Conclave Tribunal that. Actually do this. That's eight, so we can't kill both. He did not see it coming! That is 5 damage. That is a lot of damage. I kind of need to Conclave Tribunal that. He now realizes the danger of the high alert. It would actually be hilarious if this counted to all creatures. That would be so stupid, but I think it would be hilarious as well. Uh, so four, three, five, I'll survive. Wait, what? Did I just misclick that? Did I just... I really... I... I just... <sighs> that was bad, guys. That was really bad. I think we'll end it there. Wow. I... I actually... Wow. <laughs> that was so bad. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That was so bad. Oh. God damn it. Oh well, that was my high alert deck. It works better than the last one, no question about it. It is way better constructed. Um, and I think uh, I think it did quite well. I hope you guys agree. I'll probably be making some more uh, visits to our older decks and see if I can improve on them in any sort of way. Um, but yeah, that was the high alert, the Azorius defenders, the big boys that doesn't really count as big boys. I hope you liked it. I sure did. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.